Hi guys, it's Justin with Joyce and Drew here. And as you can see, I am in my car. So what in the dickens can I be doing in my car? Well, you know how you buy something and you're so excited to like fully open it, look at it, play with it. Like you're like, I gotta pull over right now. Well, this is one of those type situations. So I want to show you guys a really awesome purchase that I found. So, this particular um, doll, you already know by the title, is a collector uh, doll that came out about two years ago. Um, at original retail for $100. Right now, currently, it can also be found, it was a few months ago at a discount store called Ollie's, and I believe it was marked down to as low as 30 now, Olive's is more like a closeout store, so it's like literally they are getting the bottom of the barrel um, type of um, payout for that particular um, item. And you know, and that store has toys, housewares, accessories, homewares, all that good stuff. But at a, another store has it, which is Tuesday morning, which this one was purchased from. Um, it was priced at fifty which is still an excellent price. So I wanted to show you guys this doll because she is awesome. So I just want to show you the Tuesday morning SKU number. It is $49.99, $50. So this is the Luciana Barbie doll from the Global Glamour Collection. Um, welcome to Brazil, a majestic melting pot of cultures, yada, yada, yada. This is the Global Glamour Collection, yada, 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 which is for selection, which is the Luciana Barbie. And so basically, Luciana means uh, light, and so that's where we get her name. Her, um, her um, outfit is based on Brazilian Carnival. And this particular doll is limited to no more than 10000 worldwide. And um, again, she was originally priced at $100. And we have her marked down to $50. So I just want to go ahead and show you what she looks like. So she comes in this huge box. She doesn't have like a playset or, you know, these extra accessories. The reason why she's in this little box is because she's in this huge dress. So this is Luciana. Give you some cute little close-ups of her. Let me take the, the screen off so you can see her without the reflection. She's very beautiful. Like, she almost does, I don't want to say looks like Beyonce, but she's very, she's Brazilian, but she's more like an Afro-Brazilian. It's like she literally is dark and beautiful. So I just want to show close-ups of her face. So that you can see her. She has this beautiful gown on. So her hair is curly and it is two tone. It has an undertone of honey blonde and an overtone of like a chestnut brown. And she has a kind of So what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually debox her because I definitely want to see what she looks like in detail. So thankfully <laughs> I have my um my pocket knife with me. So I'm gonna take her out of the box. I'm gonna take her out of the So Instead of doing this from the front, it's so much safer to take this off of her this way. To just kind of slowly debox her. Because otherwise you risk, you know, bringing her wrist, her body. As you see, like she is really in there. So I am going to have to pull on her head just a little bit to pop those tabs. There's no damage to her hair, so that's great. And that's that. Now the interesting thing about this carnival dress, all that is is cardboard. Like, all that is is cardboard. So once we remove the cardboard, the dress itself is really not all that poofy. Like, it's really crazy. All of that was just decorative cardboard that's not even the dress so that's why the dress looks like that so without the cardboard it still has that bustle look because there is a little layer of this um thick material here 
which is kind of giving it the bustle effect. But I really don't even feel like that cardboard was needed for the display box because it just looked unnatural. But she looks so much prettier like this with the dress flowing but still having a little bustle effect. So you know what I want to do, guys? I want to, excuse me, my voice is changing because I have been a little bit under the weather. Her outfit is removable. She has little tabs on the side. So I'm just going to take those off. And it slips her out of that bustle skirt. So this right there. So here she is in all her glory. She is very, very beautiful. And her shoes are two pieces. There's like this little upper calf piece that's already attached. And then on her card are the shoes that are attached. And then I'm just gonna slip the shoe on. It's like what I always call it a Lady Gaga shoe because it's not quite a normal wedge. It's more like the platform wedge. And so as you see, Luciana is very beautiful. Like, and I know I said this in the beginning about the whole Beyonce thing, but like, this outfit is amazing. Like, this could be a performance outfit. You know, take this away, and this looks like your pop standard pop star outfit. So she's very, very beautiful. I think she looks so much better without the big skirt. But again, that's part of her cultural design. But Luciana is wonderful. I do like that she's fully articulated. She's not made to move. But I like the fact that she's not made to move. Because she doesn't have the made to move hinges. She kind of has the invisible hinges. Where like the um, kneecap covers the seam. And the same kind of with her elbows, which I think is very beautiful for fashion dolls. Because when their skin is exposed, you don't really see all those joints. So here is Luciana. Um, she can be found currently at Tuesday morning. If you guys want her, pick her up. She is an awesome buy. So there she is. Very, very beautiful. Nice, gorgeous hair. This hair is amazing. And you can take her headdress off. You just have to kind of snip that little tab there. I'm going to keep her intact. But I mean, this hair is gorgeous. Like, it's super, super, super soft. It kind of almost reminds me of the Mycene Bryant hair. Of the, the pattern. Curl pattern. But it's super, super soft. So you guys will be able to restyle this, you know, fluff her up, put a little water or diluted fabric softener on her, and she should be good. So check Luciana out. She's now currently in Tuesday mornings here in the United States.